So uh, you people were curious about overclocking the uh, FX6100. I'm uh, going to be using folding at home to test this. It hasn't loaded up yet. It's just downloading the PC. Just so I want to get an idle look. This, the fan right now is locking in at 41 Celsius. It's in between 500 and 900 RPM. It's just gearing up, so it's cranked up a bit. This is with my case fans on low. I'm sure if I turn them up, it, I'd actually get an improvement. And folding starting. Uh, this isn't so much an official benchmark for point three day or anything because I'm recording with Cam Studio right now. You can see down here. There's no guarantee that I'll get a reliable, accurate uh, measure because I'll use Cam Studio and we'll use it in the life. So I hit uh, four point two uh, gigahertz, and I'm actually going to uh, turn up my case fans right now. This temp three, I think, is my north ridge. And honestly, my my new motherboard is great. I'll I'll open to a uh, mainboard, GA970A, uh, with 3GB. This is my first gigabyte board, it's been good, except I don't think the motherboard co uh, Northridge cooler is very well attached. Kind of lifted it by a bit, it just seemed to pop right up a bit. I had to make sure the uh, plastic stopper in the bottom was secure, but even then I'm not very like, confident in it. So anytime I'm doing any loads, I have I crank my case fans, not so much for my CPU, which is because it's still at 41, no problem. Fans only going 1400 RPM. I think it's got a maximum of something in the neighborhood of never seen it go that high. It's locked in permanently at 41 Celsius without any issue. But my Northbridge, I believe, has had some issues with it. Anyway, so folding has begun, as you can tell. So the processor is loaded on all six cores. And uh, as I said earlier, I am at 4200 megahertz. The, this is a pure multiplier thing, so uh, the extra 28 megahertz is a bit of an oddity. The V core I pushed in 1.4 V, I think. It tends to stay at 1.38, but occasionally for some reason it'll report to jump up to 1.44 as you can see in CPUs, Z, and in Steam Fan. I don't have any numbers on points per day. Presumably, uh, we'll know something sooner. I did run a different unit earlier and I was getting uh, about 5 minutes of step for a uh, core worth about 535 points. So that puts you in at about uh, 1600 points per day before any early bonuses, though. I have been out of the folding game for quite some time, so I'm actually not familiar with what these bonuses are at the current moment. I don't know how many points it would earn net. I will tell you though, uh, I will wait until we get the first step so we can get kind of an estimation on uh, points per day. I'll open up Famon, which I'm not sure if that's still the de facto standard. I, I've updated it recently. I've heard people are using HFM.net now, but I just want to do a very close to the surface, simple assessment. I'm not here to do proper statistics, I'm not a tech user, I'm just kind of showing what kind of results I've gotten. I have managed to push this core uh, at 1.4 volts to 4.6, however it was not prime stable, it aired out after about 30 to 40 minutes. Could I have casually used it at that? Probably. But I'm not in the mood to possibly encounter issues, just to hold it. I don't want to risk any erroneous results in the name of science. I don't have much else to say. Obviously, 900 megahertz overclock is solid enough, although, of course, with so few instructions per cycle, it's almost necessary. It is a uh, couple hundred megahertz above the turbo core, so I have excluded at least the free header that it effectively provides. And uh, not much else to say beyond that. As you can see, my uh, temp free is creeping up as I said it would. Hopefully, it'll stay around the 47 range. I don't know what its thresholds are, but you can give me a fiery error when I get to the 5051, which I've only seen with my fans on zero and max low. So hopefully we won't see too much of that. Anyway, I am going to pause recording right now because I don't think you want to wait for the test thing. So I am back now. I opened hfm.net because Skyline doesn't report bonuses and apparently this does. So it's giving me a run at around uh, 5196 points per day. I don't know where it gets that number because this is not a very valuable working unit. It's only worth about, I think, 595, and it's slow. It took seven minutes of stack. I'm not sure how much of that is uh, offset by it letting the cams be in the background. But, you know, you do what you can. Um, Gromax is uh, 6972. Oh, okay, maybe it's worth more than uh, what I looked up then. So apparently, this is a valuable working unit. And apparently, we will return to it in the day, which makes sense. It's seven minutes of stack. Two days and then hopefully in a while I will get my bonuses as well. I'm 
Unfortunately, I'm not sure how long term I'll be able to pull, but this new case gives off a lot of light. And, uh, sorry, it's disgusting. The overclock on MSF. Uh, this cord gives off a lot of light. Uh, this case gives off a lot of light, and I sleep in this room, so I'm not sure how good that idea is. But, yeah, as you can see, I have, this has still been running, and I'm sitting at 4041, and, uh, still at 4.2, no issues. Obviously, this isn't as reliable as Prime 95 for kicking out all the kinks, and as I said earlier, I have actually Prime 95 that took about 8-9 eight, nine hours, and then uh, after a reset, I also did for another 3 just in case, because I was at work and I figured why not get some more stress testing, although obviously that reset the audio again, so I don't think I'd come back right there. My, fi my uh, CPU fan has scaled up a little bit to keep myself in the temperature range, but I mean, the, temp the CPU is another like 15 degrees of better before it even starts giving me warnings, so I'm not too concerned with temperatures. I might in the future bump my voltage up to like 1.5 and see if I can hit 5 gigahertz or something. But I'm not sure when I'll do that. I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. So uh, this is just some preliminary overclocking and having a bit of fun with my new processor. And uh, that's it. This is uh, strict... I forget about that. This is strictly on multiplayer. There has been no uh, hyper transport bus modifications. And uh, hopefully this performance boost is something everyone can see in the FX series because obviously it's something that's had some problems. But there's, not, there's no reason it still can't be a processor that can suit your needs. That's the, when I bought it, that's basically the perspective I had. I viewed it as something that I'd be supporting a company I like, especially with a product that it seems like wasn't going to sell well because it has its own issue. But I decided it still fit my needs well enough that it was a purchase for me because, what can I say, I ideologically sympathize with AMD. I've had good experience with them, and they haven't had any new processors since, I think, 2007. So uh, it was nice to get back on that train, and honestly, I have more fun overclocking them running bench notes themselves, and this looks like a chip I'm going to be able to have fun with in the future. Uh, thanks a lot for your time, and I uh, hope this has been informative. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm not going to uh, probably listen to a lot of the flaming bullshit that some people give, but you know what? Hopefully we can uh, create a uh, environment where people who have legitimate questions get an answer and you don't get too much, uh, why the hell did you buy a bulldozer chip uh, kind of thing that I've already gotten on some message boards. Uh, so thanks a lot. Uh, Take care.